So the Lord was with him, and therefore he was able to be made faithful. Right? Just like you see in the New Testament with these other guys. Before the, the gifting of the Holy Spirit, before the full glorification of Jesus, these guys were not able to remain faithful. But then after they received that gift, they were able to remain faithful. As the Lord was with them, they were able to be more faithful, right? So consider what God may have planned to do in and through you by the act of faithfulness. I mean, think about this. Joseph, though his brothers are off doing their own thing, sitting and carousing, whatever, Joseph keeps it in his pants, right? Because the Lord was with him. He is able to obey God's commands. And he doesn't know what the result of that's going to be. He just knows his God's with him, and he's faithful to his God. What's the result of Joseph keeping it in his pants? Salvation of his whole family. Right? His whole family gets brought from Canaan to Egypt. And the line of the Messiah is able to continue on. Joseph saves the lineage of Christ by remaining faithful and keeping it in his pants. That's amazing. Right? So it's not, ah, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. You don't know what God's gonna do by you remaining faithful. Right? And so it's not. It's not even, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this and this is going to happen. Joseph had no idea. He didn't know the ramifications. He just knew his Lord was with him and he loved his Lord. He wasn't obeying rules in order to earn love. He was in love with his father and his father was working through his life. And because of that love and that affection, he was able to remain faithful because of the Lord working through his life. Right? So that's what it should be with us. Right? It's not you got to stop doing this and stop doing that and do this right and whatever. It's... Love God. God did the work of coming and be, becoming flesh, suffering as we suffer, dying on the cross in our place so that we can have a relationship with him. Right? Which gives us now a seat at the table. We're under the protection of him. And because of his work, we're able to remain faithful. That should stir our affections, not our works. Our works should be a result of our affections. So even like, you know, I, I encourage you to read your Bible daily. I encourage you to be time, spending time in prayer daily, right? Um, but not as a check mark, because by spending time reading the Bible daily, you will know your Father more and have more affections for Him. Right? By speaking to your Father more, you'll love Him more, and that's going to guide you in being faithful to Him and obeying Him. Right? It's the same thing in a human relationship. With your girlfriend, you probably spend time with her, right? You probably talk to her. If you don't, she's probably not going to be your girlfriend very much longer. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you never talk to her, do you even really love her? It's, it's easy also to not care as much. Right? Then you, you tend to do less good, nice things for her. Right? But the more that you know her, spend time with her, or him, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be like that. <laughs> you know, guys and girls, the, the more that you spend time and love on that person in your life that you, that you care about, the more that your, your works are going to come as well, right? And the more beautiful and intimate that relationship is going to be. So it's not about rules. It's about love. And that brings about our greatest joy, right? So all these other guys back in 38, of, of Exodus, Genesis, all these other brothers, they're doing all these things. They're just going after whatever and trying to get theirs and be happy. And they're not happy. Their lives are, like, miserable. Right? And so they're, they're not finding fulfillment. They're not finding great joy. They're not, they're not attaining the happiness they're seeking after. Joseph was happy. Right? Joseph found joy. Because the only place we can truly find joy is in relationship with Jesus. In relationship with God. Those other things will not bring fulfillment. Right? 